Hey what's up team and welcome to the 5 minute guide for Unholy DK. The Unholy DK is a difficult and slow paced melee spec which utilizes unholy magic, summoning the undead, and devastating two handed weapons to destroy anything standing between it and its goal. In the current game it excels at dealing AoE damage and therefore is quite strong in mythic dungeons. When we look at the talents for Unholy we can see two distinct builds, one for AoE and one for single target. The AoE build focuses on applying and popping as many wounds as possible to get that big burst in packs, while the single target build focuses more on its disease, having an additional undead ally to aid it in combat. For utility, we want to be choosing between Wraithwalk and Death Pact. It's a personal choice, but generally I go with Wraithwalk for raids and Death Pact for dungeons. There's something we need to take a look at before I explain the rotation for all this to make sense. Festering Wounds. The Unholy DK revolves around building and spending resources, like its cousin Frost. However, Unholy has one additional resource to track, Festering Wounds. It applies these primarily through Festering Strike and bursts them using Scourge Strike. They are how Unholy does its damage, and they are very important in our AoE. Let's take a look at our single target rotation and how we do our damage. Unholy, first and foremost, is a dance of generating and spending resources. First and most importantly though, we have to make sure our disease is applied without break. Maintain that all the time. Now, we can look at Vestering Strike. One of our most important abilities. It's used to spend runes, generate runic power, and generate wounds on the target. Once we have these wounds on, we want to pop them, and we do this by hitting Scourge Strike, all the way down until we have no wounds left, then we apply more. To spend all this juicy runic power we built, we want to smash that death coil button. Not repeatedly though, only use it to avoid overcapping or when you have nothing else. Lastly for single target, there are two things which I want to mention that may be less obvious. With the Pestilence talent, we want to be dropping Death and Decay to generate those extra wounds. Drop it on cooldown. And Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper is a weird one. It can be used for two purposes. Firstly, and most importantly, it can be used for a 10% haste buff if you put it on something that dies within 8 seconds. But it has another use. If you're fighting things that won't be dying within 8 seconds, like say a raid boss, you can use it to generate two wounds on demand, just like that. It's really handy and honestly very strong for maintaining uptime when we have nothing else. So, don't be afraid to use it if you don't have anything else, it will completely reinvigorate your rotation. Before we get into AoE, I want to quickly talk about Dark Transformation and how it synergizes with our Infected Claw talent. When we hit this, it makes our pet AoE, therefore, with this talent, it will make our pet apply wounds to everything in front of it, meaning we really want to have this ability ready to go when we start to AoE. When it comes to AoE, Unholy deals its damage in a somewhat similar way to the single target rotation, but we have to mix in Death and Decay more deliberately. Not simply dropping it on cooldown, but making sure we have wounds on the target ready to go when it goes down. The reason for this is that while standing in our Death and Decay, our Scourge Strike will hit everything inside it. What does Scourge Strike do? That's right, it pops wounds. Just think of the potential with good setup. Trust me, it pops. When Death and Decay is down, make sure we're pressing Scourge Strike as much as possible throughout its duration. Preferably we want to be only hitting Scourge Strike and Epidemic throughout the duration of Death and Decay. So, make sure you have wounds ready to go, you'll probably need 3 or 4 on the main target. Remember that your pet will be applying more. Again, for AoE, we want to make sure our disease is applied at all times. Don't worry, it's contagious. Also, make sure that runic power is not overcapping, but this time, we want to spend it on Epidemic instead of Death Coil, provided there are at least 2 targets present. Alright, rotations out of the way, let's hit up that opener. We want Army of the Dead 2 seconds on the pull timer, Outbreak at 0 and then Dark Transformation and Unholy Frenzy when we hit melee. Festering Strike until we hit 4 wounds and then hit that Apocalypse. The opener can feel slow and you don't get results immediately, but when those ghouls are all out and start whacking the target, it ramps up pretty quick. From that point on our opener, it's pretty much just a faster version of our single target rotation. We get a lot more wounds and everything is much faster because of Unholy Frenzy, and honestly, it's a lot of fun. Get out there and give it a go. The Unholy DK is a really great spec which has one of the most fun rotations for any melee spec in the game. I really encourage you guys to try it out if you haven't already. You probably won't regret it. Anyway team, that has been the Unholy DK. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to find out more, ask a question, or just say hi, I'm live 6 nights a week over at twitch.tv slash jactus. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, it's been great, I will see you again.